for highs this afternoon. And look how that compares to our averages. About 10 degrees warmer than average in many spots this afternoon. And that, of course, is after the big cool down that we had uh, over the weekend. So kind of up then down, now back up again, and we're headed back down by the end of the week. So a roller coaster ride of temperatures continues. Quarter of a mile visibility right now in Palm Coast. Two miles is how far you can see in Melbourne, also Orlando, half mile in Leesburg. So we do have several spots where that haziness, low cloudiness is developing. We've got some patchy fog, and that will be the case again tonight, by the way, too. Right now, our temperatures, 64 in Ocala and Orlando, 66 Daytona Beach. It is 68 in Cocoa Beach and Melbourne. All the big rain is offshore and heading north. The few sprinkles we had in the overnight are now gone, so it's really just cloud cover, maybe a little misting. You still might need your wipers this morning just because there's so much moisture in the air. But as we get going today, the winds will come in out of the southwest enough moisture coming in on those warm winds that we may squeak out just a little shower. In fact, you can see it on Futurecast. Not a lot of rain, but there'll be a few breaks in the clouds. We'll get a bit of sun and then just a few small little pockets of those showers that are possible this afternoon. Kind of like yesterday, we had a few places that got some showers and now today will be similar uh, with all this moisture in the air. 80 degrees in Salt Springs today, 82 Eustis in Claremont and 81 in Ocala. Lower 80s is about 10 degrees warmer than average. 83 Longwood in Oviedo, 83 in Ocoee in Orlando, and at the coast, uh, upper 70s, lower 80s, 79 in Daytona Beach, 81 Cocoa Beach, and 82 today in Palm Bay. Tomorrow, similar, still lower 80s, still a little bit of sun, but a lot of clouds, and then a slight chance of a shower as well. We have this front nearby. It's north of us for now, but what will happen by Wednesday is this front will make its approach and then come through here on Thursday. So that's what will bring our next blast of cooler, drier air, and that is why our temperatures by the end of the week will head back down into the 70s. In fact, by Friday, our morning lows will be back down into the mid 50s as well. But until then, we're talking lower 60s each morning.